by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs, built upon a new model of non-profit support. The Trestle Group Foundation is dedicated to empowering women entrepreneurs in developing and emerging economies, driving economic opportunity, growth and social progress. Collaborating with Credit Suisse, Equity Bank and Swiss Contact to promote sustainable economic, social and ecological development. The partnership is linking executive expertise, financial capital, networks and resources to empower women entrepreneurs in Tanzania to overcome business challenges. The cooperation delivers financial products, training and executive support to more than 250 early stage and high potential women-led businesses. Three flagship entrepreneurs worked with executive teams at Credit Suisse. I decided that I, I'm going to create jobs. I saw that there's a lot of young people around and I've experienced, I've learned from other places. I talked to my sister-in-laws and one of them is in Arusha. He had a lot of friends with the flower farms. He said, why don't you just start out a flower shop? And um, I got five bunches of flowers from Arusha and that was my flower shop. So I grew from the little five bunches. I'm proud because I've made, I've created jobs. I've introduced you to the stuff that I have. These people will have been on the streets or they would have no jobs. They'll be in the villages. So I've grown to, to have children and grandchildren of dinner flowers. In 2000, we had plenty of mangoes, so we had to export and we needed a license. So we had to register a company and we registered the company Nature Ripe Kilimanjaro. The name Nature Ripe Kilimanjaro, we thought the mangoes were drying naturally. And Kilimanjaro is uh, whenever you go, if you talk Kilimanjaro, people know it's Tanzania. The mangoes are coming only three months in a year. So when we stay full-time basis, what do we do? So that's when we went into the supermarkets and looked what is there for us to sell. So we found that cashew nuts are coming all over from India, are coming from uh, Dubai, imported into Tanzania. So we thought, let's do cashew nuts. Let me come to the women in Tanzania. There are so many challenges in, for the women in Tanzania. First, in family. Since you are a woman, you have no voice. Even if you are doing a business, the one who is counting the money is a husband. To access the market also is a problem for the women. They, they are lacking awareness. And also the, 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 the skills. And the other thing, family issues. You have a husband, you have a children, you have a business. Eh? How can you manage eh, to do all these things? Dina, Anna and Fatma, our flagship entrepreneurs, serve as role models, champions and mentors to hundreds of women in Dar es Salaam and across Tanzania. For Credit Suisse, the programme offers a skills-based volunteering opportunity, a chance for professionals to collaborate across functions and units and corporate responsibility with socio-economic impact. I'm learning so much uh, just these three days here, what you see and how things really work and, uh, and uh, I think we can make a difference. When I talked about this in my team or with colleagues in the bank, they were all so excited about it and we actually, you know, wherever I go and talk about it, they're participating, they're, uh, you know, tell me more and then they think about ideas. It's also good to connect personally, to, to get to know Fatma and know her how her family is established, how the family is involved, how important it is, what are like the, the main drivers to take any decision. And I would also think it's a lot about trust. It's great to be involved in something that has a, a social and economic impact. Yeah. We're a bank, so people often only think that it's all about finance, it's all about making money. But actually, Credit Suisse is really involved in a lot of things that help communities develop and help them develop sustainable solutions for themselves. We really support women's development, educational development, but women and entrepreneurs, it's mm. perfect for Credit Suisse. Through Equity Bank, entrepreneurs will have access to business training and a new financial product, Fanakisha Plus, designed specifically for women-led businesses. My name is Samuel Makome. I'm the Managing Director and CEO for Equity Bank Tanzania. 
the word fanikisha is a Swahili word that means to to help to succeed. The word fanaka is about success. And in Fanikisha, we are empowering or helping women succeed. Equity Bank has, from our roots, we've always been about inclusion. And we've always been about banking the unbanked and the underbanked. Women were a great part of the people who did not have banking services. So by actually including women and by supporting women, we are addressing our core, our core uh, mission and vision of inclusion. Women can actually make great entrepreneurs if they are given the opportunities. We have huge success stories, and so we are fully, fully committed to ensuring women are able to fully participate in the socioeconomic development of Africa. Let me say something before we, we, we leave each other. You know the entrepreneur, I think, it must be from your blood. by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs. Built upon a new model of non-profit support, linking human and financial capital, networks and resources. This innovative partnership supports the creation of sustainable women-led businesses and a community of female entrepreneurs, now and in the future.